The Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago is celebrating the works of artist Jackie Hinkson. Born here in Trinidad and Tobago, Hinkson has for decades been a painter, sculptor and interpreter of the landscape, seascape, structures and people of the country and Caribbean islands. The Art Society is highlighting 50 years worth of his watercolor painting at the Federation Park headquarters. Marie Therese Bernard tells us more. Often called the quintessential Caribbean artist, Jackie Hinkson's watercolor works have been collected in an exhibition entitled Light and Paint, which, according to Timothy Wilcox, appears simple but are in fact complex. Mr. Wilcox, an exhibition curator and independent scholar, says Hinkson's work, Mayara Wet Day, uses simple elements such as reflection and color to create what he calls a little masterpiece. That is to belie just how sophisticated this image is and this is one of the essential characteristics of watercolour that at its best it will seem very simple and very straightforward. It is the scholar says we can readily respond and appreciate the immediacy and simplicity of watercolors in fine art, but warns that becoming a watercolor artist could be the road to obscurity. If you become a watercolor painter, you must be ready to be overlooked. You must be ready for people to say, well, it's only watercolor. Um, I can safely say that because you're all here and we're in a room full of wonderful watercolours. So you know that's not always the case. But there are so many watercolourists who um, also play that element of jeopardy and risk that if you paint in watercolour, it's that much harder for people to, to get people to take you seriously. Mr. Wilcox says Hinkson is capable of working so fast his work may appear unplanned, but he knows there's a depth to his offerings which make them quite philosophical. The artist himself explains that he interacts with his subjects in an intimate way, working to capture what he sees in the moment. Um, where shadows may be now can change in half an hour's time. And that forces me sometimes to have to re remember what I started with, but I don't like doing that. So I work as quickly as possible. There is one painting of a flamboyant tree. There where the, the shadows of branches are falling on other branches and the, the tree is striped and so on. If I do not work quickly enough, all of that is going to change as the sun moves position. Ironically, he had this advice to budding watercolor artists. Don't do it. <laughs> you laugh, but I'm serious. No, because I can clearly remember in the 70s when I started, around 1970, when I started consistently, constantly painting, that year after year, I would look at the work I have done and say, mm -hmm. this is no good. Hinkson, however, says his angst as he grew older changed from frustration at not being able to achieve exactly what he wanted to a yearning for recapturing the magic of a special moment he portrayed in his youth. Mr. Wilcox says Mr. Hinkson's work embodies technical facility in his experiments with watercolor materials. He adds, they display a depth of heart in his created works which are lovingly put together. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.